Greetings and salutations. Uh, I'm Mike Jewell and this is my first YouTube video that's not about gardening. Uh, I hope a lot of you guys have been watching the gardening videos and enjoying them. I'm enjoying making them. Uh, but today I want to talk about something different. Today I want to talk about beer. So my story is maybe a couple months ago it was yard sale day in my girlfriend's neighborhood. We're going through all the yard sales, we're finding all the great deals, and we come to this one driveway, and I find the Mr. Beer Home Brewery System. And of course, you know, I've seen this thing all over the place, and it's usually about 30 bucks. And they wanted $8 for it, and we uh, haggled with them and talked them into $6. So, for six dollars, I'm going to make nine quarts of beer. So, I mean, no matter how bad my own homemade beer is, you know, uh, for six dollars, it can't be too shabby, right? And I've watched YouTube videos of people, you know, doing the Mr. Beer thing, and it usually turns out pretty well. Some people are very critical of the Mr. Beer. Some people are like, ah. Personally, I drink Pat's Blue Ribbon and Bud Light very frequently so I'm not gonna mind how a Mr. Beer tastes that's that's my theory anyway granted though I get this thing home I take it apart I read the directions and I'm not completely unfamiliar with brewing because I you know I've read about it a lot I've always wanted to do this I just never have but I understand the process fairly well and step one is um, sanitation or you know sanitize your equipment and the videos I had seen the Mr. Beers that they used comes with the one step no rinse sanitize solution this kit didn't have it but I knew it wasn't missing because the list of stuff that came included was on there and as I read the instructions it said mix uh, one part bleach nine part water mixture and use that as a sanit and I'm like, hmm, that's funny. Also, I noticed it came with the um, uh, condensed uh, wort. You, you mix with water to make the wort. And it was the West Coast Pale Ale. But strangely enough, it didn't have the booster. All the videos I'd seen of people doing the Mr. Beer had a pouch of booster. So, But I'm reading the instructions. It says, you know, you add the wort concentrate to the heated water and then it says add half a cup of sugar it says if you want to increase the alcohol add an additional half cup to two cups of sugar so of course I put two cups of sugar in because I like alcohol um, you know and then you know I did everything I got the wort at the right temperature I added the yeast but it was a real dark color the wort in the videos of other people okay. I'd seen using the west coast pale ale had sort of a light blonde colored beer or you know and a light lighter colored wort as well so I'm thinking something was wrong so I start looking at the can that this condensed wort extract uh, came in and it it was had an expiration date printed on it and the expiration date said best use by August 11th 1996 so you know, it's 2011 now, you guys can do the math. Um, this is the old version of the Mr. Beer Kit, and I used very, very old ingredients to make this beer. Uh, granted, I don't know if the yeast were good. I supplemented the Mr. Beer yeast with some baker's yeast. Uh, I know people who are into brewing say don't do that, it's awful. Uh, even though it's the same species as brewing yeast, it's a different uh, variety that wasn't bred for making beer. It was bred for leavening bread and it has strange characteristics and it won't make a high alcohol beer and it will impart weird flavor characteristics to the beer. But anyway, I did it anyway. I put the yeast that it came with in there and I put a little baker's yeast in because when I put the yeast that came in here, it didn't do anything for like three days. Put the baker's yeast in and then I had steady bubbling fermentation for a good three weeks and I actually Mr. Beer says primary ferment for one week, secondary ferment in the bottle with the priming sugar for a second week. 
I did primary fermentation in this guy for a full three weeks uh, just because it kept fermenting, it kept fermenting. I was constantly action going on here for three weeks before it slowed down and then I finally bottled and then after I bottled, you know, I would do a, a squeeze test every day, you know, to see if I could feel the carbonation pushing back and when it finally felt carbonated, which was after about two weeks, that's when I finally took the beer and I put it in the fridge, you know. But Mr. Beer says two weeks, I spent about five weeks on this beer. Uh, this is the first time I made beer. I didn't want to mess it up. I was using a kit that was, you know, at least 15 years old. Um, so, you know, for all I know, this is going to be awful. Oh, and I should add another thing. When I was when I was heating the wort, making the wort from concentrate on the stove, I added about a cup full of shredded coconut because I wanted to make a coconut ale. You know, just to you know, because it's so pre-packaged, pre-made. There's I want it to be creative. You know, so I made a coconut ale. I added coconut to my wort, and I guess I sort of dry hopped it because I let it ferment with the coconut in here. Well. I dry coconutted it because I didn't add any hops. I added uh, coconut. So, coconut ale. I wonder what that's going to taste like. So, here is my beer. Let me move this out of the way. Here, well, it's kind of thought out because it's been uh, sitting on the table while I've been talking to the camera. But here is what was my frosty cold uh, pint glass. And you people on YouTube, you're getting the privilege to see me taste my very first home brew for the first time. So, moment of truth. Alright, it sounds like beer. Mmm, it smells a little sweet. It smells kind of like beer. Here we go. Not much of a head on this. That's pretty flat. Very dark colored. Looks a little bit like Coke. It's definitely got some carbonation. Bottoms up. Hmm. Yeah, that. That tastes kind of awful. Yeah. It's definitely carbonated. It doesn't taste too sweet. I can taste the coconut. But it has sort of like a burnt... Like charcoal kind of flavor and it does taste very yeasty uh, I can definitely taste the baker's yeast sort of tastes like sort of tastes like the flavor in your mouth when you burp after you've been eating a lot of uh, breadsticks or something it's uh wow it's gross um, That said, though, I could actually kind of get used to this. I think maybe I'm tasting burnt sugars and then the flavors of the baker's he said. It's definitely not what I expected. Uh, it doesn't taste much like any beer I've ever had before, but it's... I could conceivably get used to this, uh, strangely enough. I think I could get used to drinking, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, 15-year-old ingredients, Mr. Beer. Um, if I get sick and uh, end up in the hospital for drinking this because there's some sort of E. coli or salmonella in it, I'll make sure that uh, I make a hospital video. And you can see me, uh, maybe I'll make a video of myself puking later on after I get sick. 
from drinking this, and then we can fill my funeral after I die from uh, rancid beer poisoning. But it's my first try. Uh, I guess I'll try again, and uh, you guys can tune in then. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.